Georgia and Florida soybean and other small grain producers held their annual expo recently at the Agri Center in Perry in central Georgia. The event was packed with information for growers on issues that range from biofuels to the kudzu bug. The industry is looking good this upcoming year. Uh, prices are high. Uh, I think it'll be a good year. We, uh, as long as we don't have any environmental issues, I think it'll it'll be a, a good year for the soybeans and, and, and wheat. One of the featured speakers at the expo was UGA Extension economist Nathan Smith, who discussed the 2011 world outlook for southern ag commodities. The message I have for today is that you know prices are are up and uh, you know they're at attractive levels historically and. Uh, you know, it, it could be pretty volatile this year. Prices may be pretty sensitive to weather and production, particularly once uh, the crops are planted. So the farmers need to be flexible in their marketing, uh, being able to take advantage or to make moves when, when there are big price swings, whether they're up or down. Um, but, uh, you know, that right now, uh, in terms of potential returns for 2011, you know, you, we're looking at a better situation than than last year. Soybeans have seen a run up in price of late and those who promote the commodity are constantly trying to find new uses for the crop to increase its popularity. At the United Soybean Board we look at it as like having a stock portfolio. You have one stock, it can go bad uh, and, and you lose everything. So we try to look at a lot of different areas whether it be in, in plastics or adhesives or solvents and things like that. The Georgia Florida Soybean Association is an affiliate of the American Soybean Association which works to increase market opportunities and value for U.S. soybean farmers.